Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here at our very first podcast the Pet Parenting Reset. I'm so excited to start this podcast because we have so many, so many things to talk about. But this podcast, our very first podcast, is an introduction to say hello, to let you know what this podcast is about, and to get you involved. Yes, most podcasts don't really let you guys get involved, but I'm gonna give you some ways to get involved and provide that feedback, ask your questions, because I'm here to answer them for you. So let's get right into explaining what the Pet Parenting Reset is all about. So my name is Jessica L. Fisher, and you may or may not have seen me before on social media. I am a positive reinforcement dog trainer. I also work with cats, with and cats and dogs with behavior issues nutrition issues, enrichment, natural and holistic health, I look at the whole pet. And that is very different for a dog trainer to do, which is why I don't really like calling myself a dog trainer because I feel like that just kind of puts me in a box and that is not me. While I can definitely help you and I do know and can teach you positive reinforcement methods to help you train your dog, we look at the whole dog and that is so important. And or cat, by the way, this isn't just about dogs, this is also about cats. So the Pet Parenting Reset, guys, my husband actually came up with the name of this podcast and I loved it the moment it rolled off of his tongue I could not believe it because it that's exactly what I was like I was looking to simplify my message and that is exactly what he came up with because I believe that we're pet parents and I I know that there's there are going to be people out there that may not completely agree with that but I just don't think owners do just like calling us owners i don't feel is appropriate i don't i don't know dogs and cats animals are sentient beings and to decide that we own them now legally that's how it works i understand that but they're part of our family and I just feel like parenting is a much better word for it. And whether you agree with me or not, that's okay. You don't have to agree with that to continue listening to the podcast, I promise. But I feel like our pets are our family and what we it's our responsibility to keep learning and to keep growing to serve their needs the best we can. So That's why I loved that it was about pet parenting. Now, the word reset, guys, I could not be more, like literally that is the word that put it over the edge for me because that is exactly what we need to be doing. Right now, today is the best time for you to reset. Reset your thinking, flip that switch in your brain because here's the deal, and I said this, the other day on one of my other social media platforms and I was like yes that is exactly what I want my message to be because I know here it is I know I believe that you as a pet parent are so much smarter and so much more competent and capable than these big companies out there give you credit for. Now, the marketing, oh my gosh, guys, the marketing, especially since World War II, I don't know if you realize this, but kibble is the trend. 
That is the trend. We have only been feeding kibble since World War II because of the metal rations. Kibble is the trend, and here's the deal. These companies, they make billions, with a B, billions of dollars a year. There are many, many companies out there. There are three big ones, and guess what? One of the biggest companies out there that sells you your pet food and pet products is Mars, the candy company. But here's the deal. They're not a candy company anymore. But yes, they make and sell candy, but their biggest stream of revenue comes from pet food and pet products. So really, if you look at the bottom line, which is what they do every day, let me tell you, they are a pet company. Yeah, you heard that right. Let that sink in for a minute. But listen, pet food, pharmaceuticals, uh, the, it just goes on. It's a billion dollar a year, like billions and billions of dollars every year go into pet products and what you spend at the vet's office, which is why these companies have gotten into veterinary care and veterinary medicine. You probably have noticed that a lot of these big box stores have been installing vet offices in, inside of them. That's because it is a big dollar business. And here's the thing, the marketing that they have been putting out for the past few generations has is excellent. Oh my gosh, it pulls at your heartstrings. It tells you exactly what you want to hear and they know it, which is why they keep making more money every single year. And I'm not saying that's wrong. It's not wrong to make money, but here's the deal. They are not giving you the credit for how smart and how capable you are. I firmly believe that. So that's where that reset that was, that was kind of long-winded, I apologize, but I'm very passionate about this. If you cannot tell, that's where the reset comes in. We need to flip that switch in our brains and think differently about how we are raising our pets. So, like I was saying earlier, your participation is, re I'm, I'm requesting it. I don't wanna say it's required, I'm requesting it. <laughs> now, there are a few ways to do this. The podcast is going to go live, every, and here's the plan. The plan is every week. The plan is for this podcast to go live every week and on, on all the major, wherever you get your podcasts, right? Whether that is iTunes, whether that is you know Google Podcasts or Spotify, the plan is for the podcast to go live every week, and then the video uh, of the podcast to also go live on YouTube and Rumble. So that's where it's going to be. Also, so, so you can actually comment. That's the thing. When these videos of the podcast go live on podcast and rumble, you can comment. And I will see your comments. That's the way they're designed, at least. Across your fingers. I will see your comments. I want to see your comments because I want your participation. I want to know what you think about the topic. I want to know your questions, whether they are about the topic or another topic, because I just might answer your question in an upcoming podcast. Now, one step better than that is Patreon. I do have a Patreon family, and let me tell you, I absolutely adore my Patreon family, and we are close. I post things on Patreon. I do not post anywhere else because we are a very close-knit family over there, so I definitely hope you check out Patreon and become part of the family. That is another, in fact, the best way to communicate with me, to get your questions answered, to talk directly to me. You can do that on Patreon. You can search my name, Jessica Fisher, on Patreon and find me, or you can go to the show notes for this podcast, which will be up on my blog, jessicalfisher.com. Fisher does not have a C, by the way. It's F-I-S-H-E-R.com. And you can get a link to the podcast, get the show notes for this podcast and every podcast going forward and get any links I'm talking about and the link to Patreon. So that is how I hope you participate in this podcast. Now, one other thing I would really love for you to do, I know this is the very first podcast, but it is so important from day one for me to ask you for a five-star rating whether that is on Spotify or iTunes or Google Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, I hope you 
whether it is with this podcast or the next one or the 10th one, whatever it may be, if you like the content, I do hope you give it a five-star rating and share it with your friends or family members who have pets because that is the only way that the word is going to get out and we can help more pet pets and pet parents. And uh, one other thing about Patreon that I did not mention is that you can tell me more about you and your pets. I want to know. I want to know what's going on with you. I want to know what's going on with your pets. It I, I, really, because that is the best way that I can help you out. So I really hope to see you over there. I hope you check out the show notes. Ooh, I just made a noise. I apologize, Kim. Kim's over here with me. Um, maybe I'll show a little video if you don't know my dog kim let me tell you she is a blonde bombshell you need to check her out so that is going to do it for today's introductory podcast podcast number one and i do hope that you subscribe to the podcast so that you can get notified the next time a show goes up which will be next week and i can't wait I just can't wait to hear more about you and your pets and to serve you by answering those questions that you have about your pets. So with that, oh, oh, yeah. So let me just really quickly before I end it, let you know that the plan for these podcasts really, like I said, is going to be weekly. They can go from 15 minutes to 45 minutes. That's the, you know, if it's just me talking, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it down like this, right? We're going to, we're going to get a concise topic going and, you know, get it out, get all the information out to you. If I'm having an interview, it can go a little bit longer. And I do hope to have quite a few interviews on the podcast. I have my feelers out. If you have a request for an interview, ah, oh, I would love to know about that. So participation is key. Five star ratings, subscribe to the podcast. Thank you so much for being here. And again, this is going to be all about our pets and how we can be better pet parents with training, behavior, nutrition, and enrichment. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you next week. Oh, 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 oh.